Africa just witnessed history. Ethiopia has officially completed the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, better known as GIRD, the largest hydroelectric project the continent has ever seen. Rising over the Blue Nile with a price tag of $4 billion, this megastructure is more than just concrete and steel. It's a symbol of ambition, sacrifice, and the dream of a self-reliant Africa. But why has this dam been so controversial? How did Ethiopia manage to build it against all odds? And what does it mean for the future of the Nile and Africa as a whole? Stick around as we dive deep into the story of one of the most important projects of our time. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss our videos on culture, history, and the untold stories shaping our world today. A dream turned reality. When the Ethiopian government launched the project in 2011, many doubted it could ever be completed. The dam was not only ambitious, it was almost audacious. Standing 145 meters high and stretching 1.8 kilometers across the Blue Nile, GERD would hold back more than 70 billion cubic meters of water and power 11 turbines, capable of generating 6,450 megawatts of electricity. That's more than double Ethiopia's existing power supply. For Ethiopia, a country where millions lived without electricity, this wasn't just another project. It was a national mission. Built by the people. What makes GERD even more extraordinary is how it was funded. Unlike most African megaprojects financed through foreign loans, Ethiopia deliberately chose self-reliance. Teachers, farmers, shopkeepers, and civil servants contributed money. Citizens bought government bonds, not to make profits, but as a patriotic duty. Diaspora Ethiopians sent funds home to support the project. This wasn't just engineering. It was a social movement. Every brick of GERD carried the fingerprints of ordinary Ethiopians who sacrificed to make it real. That sense of ownership gave the dam a power beyond electricity. It became a symbol of Ethiopia's independence, resilience, and defiance in the face of skepticism. Powering the future. Today, six turbines are already spinning, feeding electricity into Ethiopia's grid and lighting up homes that had never seen power before. Once fully operational, GERD will supply enough energy not only for Ethiopia, but for neighboring countries. Sudan, Kenya, and Djibouti are already lined up as customers for Ethiopia's surplus power. This is transformative. Instead of being strangled by blackouts and forced to rely on expensive fuel, Ethiopia can now industrialize at speed. Factories will run smoothly, hospitals won't lose power during surgeries, and schools can stay connected in the digital era. But GERD also turns Ethiopia into an energy hub for East Africa, giving it political and economic leverage it has never held before. The geopolitical storm. Of course, that leverage has not come without conflict. For Egypt, GERD feels like a direct challenge to its survival. Egypt's lifeblood is the Nile, and for generations, treaties favored Cairo, giving it near total control over the river. GERD changes that balance overnight. Ethiopia now controls the flow of the Blue Nile, and with it, Egypt's fears about food security and water supply have only grown louder. Sudan, meanwhile, has a mixed stance. On one hand, it benefits from cheaper electricity and more regulated water flows, reducing destructive floods. But it also worries that Ethiopia's control could one day harm its own dams and irrigation systems. The result? Over a decade of negotiations, summits, threats, and even hints of military confrontation. At times, tensions have been so high that the world feared the Nile could spark open conflict. 
Ethiopia, however, has consistently framed GERD as a project of peace, insisting it will not reduce downstream water, but rather stabilize flows, benefiting all, a hard road to completion. It's tempting to look at GERD today and think its success was inevitable, but the road here was anything but smooth. First came the money problem. Ethiopia's refusal to depend on foreign loans meant years of belt-tightening, fundraising, and public contributions. Then came the engineering challenges. Ethiopia had never built anything this massive before. Roads, equipment, and even skilled workers had to be developed from scratch. The dam's remote location in the Benishangul Gumuz region made logistics extremely difficult, with equipment transported across unforgiving terrain. A continental symbol, GERD's significance goes beyond Ethiopia's borders. It has become a symbol for Africa's potential. For too long, the continent's big projects were written and financed abroad, leaving African nations dependent on external powers. GERD flips the script. It was funded by Ethiopians, built with Ethiopian oversight, and designed to serve African needs first. This is not just about pride. Reliable and affordable electricity is essential for Africa's future. The road ahead. Ethiopia has given the world a powerful message with GERD. It is a story of sacrifice, resilience, and ambition. But it is also a story of risk, geopolitical, environmental, and diplomatic. If managed wisely, GERD could become a model for African-led development, lighting up millions of homes and powering industries across East Africa. If mismanaged, it could deepen regional tensions and fuel instability. What's undeniable, however, is that GERD has already changed Africa. It has shown that the impossible is possible when nations believe in themselves. Conclusion. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is more than concrete and turbans. It is the embodiment of a people's dream, a challenge to old power structures, and perhaps the beginning of a new era of African ambition. Do you think Africa is finally breaking free from foreign control? Can projects like GERD inspire a new wave of self-reliant development across the continent? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into Black culture, history, and the untold stories that shape our world. Until next time, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Kimlude Media. Thank you.